So let's see how we can find the intersection of two functions using our calculator. We've done this before, but let's take another look. So I've entered each of our functions into y1 and y2, which is why we had to have them solve for y. So this is one way we could put each of them in. Now what I need to do is graph them. So I'm going to select graph. And right now I don't see anything in my graphing window. Well that's because the graphs are just out of view. Now one thing we can do to quickly find them is we can do a zoom fit, which is all the way at the end, it's option zero. So this will at least see our two graphs. It may not find their intersection, but it's a nice start. So there's our two graphs, and what you want to notice is they're getting closer together as we go from left to right. So the intersection is somewhere down in here. So let's go take a look at what our window is and see how we can fix that. So we saw that we needed to go further right, so let's move up our x max to say 50. And this is guessing, we might have to change this. Y min, well we might as well have that go to zero. Now you can see over here I'm getting a little picture of what my graph's going to look like. And it looks like we're going to have the intersection, so let's go back to graph. There's one, there's two, and it looks like we have found our intersection, we have it in the window. Now we can let our calculator do the work, which is second, calculate, intersect, number five, first curve, yep, second curve, yes, guess, yes, and there's our solution. So these intersect when x is 40 and y equals 35, and that's how we can do it with a graphing calculator.